because once again, when I fell in love with Jesus, he was worthy of my praise. And we need him every minute, every hour, every second. I'm not ashamed of that. We can't be ashamed of the gospel. I know we call this a faith night, but more than anything, we should be just worshiping Jesus every day. So let's sing this. Lord, I need you. Christians but the Jesus that they're worshiping isn't the Jesus of the Bible you need to hear me on this one 65% of people who go to church believe there's more than one way to get to heaven the Bible says that Jesus is the way the truth and the life and no one gets to the Father except through him so if you don't believe that one particular truth then the Jesus Jesus that you're worshiping not my Jesus. He came to this world. He came to this world to die for our sins. That's why we need him. And I pray tonight by the way of the Holy Spirit that before you walk out of this place, that the Holy Spirit would convict you of that truth and that you would start to get to know the real Jesus. So I'm here to tell you, many choose the road that leads to destruction. But very few find the, the road that leads to eternal life, man. I need to hear that myself right now. I need to hear that myself. And that's my prayer for you tonight. God put me in a, a singing group and I started traveling around the country and uh, with four guys and four girls and we were telling people about Jesus. I, that was me after doing drugs. And um, I was on the group and there was another lady that was in the group that I knew that we had been in the group for two months. And one day she was walking across the parking lot because they used to go shopping in these little outlet malls. And I don't know what happened, you guys, but all I can tell you is she was walking across the parking lot and my eyes were open for the very first time. And I, and I remember thinking to myself, Lord, you did a really good job on her. That's what I was thinking, y'all. And so I married that girl. We've been married for 28 years now. That's what that ring is right there. We got four kids. My daughter just got married last week. My son's getting married in a couple of weeks, and uh, i got two more kids, one in college and, and one at home still. We're about to be empty nesters. But let me just tell you something. When I, when I joined the group New Song, I started going out and doing these winter jams, and I started sharing my testimony. I don't have time to really get into it tonight, but all I can tell you is I felt like we had hit it. In, the, in, in Christian music, you know, when you're going on movies and you know, the Christmas shoes had done so well on pop radio, and we thought, man, we had made it. The problem was, is that my wife was back home raising four kids on her own. And I was gone about 250 days out of a year, not conducive for a spiritually healthy family. And man, I'll tell you what, in 2001, we almost divorced. I was still doing God's work, thinking that I had found my calling. Let me tell you what happened. My two favorite words, but God. But God began to do something in my life and he began to show me the greatness of my sin. My number one calling happened on March 3rd, 1989 when I said I do to my wife. Now listen to me, you have to understand. When I said I do, my calling was to love my wife as Christ loved the church and lay my life down for her. To wash her in the word and make sure that she's cleansed and holy before the Lord. That's a huge responsibility for men in the house, by the way, if you're a husband. And God opened my eyes to that truth. Now, my gifting has always been music, but now I never let my gifting take precedence over my true calling. That doesn't mean I can't be here and do this. It just means the priority changed. 
and make sure that God is being glorified through my marriage. So let me tell you what happened. In 2004, I started writing a love song to my wife, and uh, I gotta tell you, I'd written a lot of love songs to Heidi, but she didn't like many of them. Well, actually, she didn't like any of them, I'll be honest with you. But I started writing out of this, kind of this old Nat King Cole, she loved that kind of music, and so I began to write this love song to her. And all I gotta tell you is, when I played it for her on Mother's Day 2004, I scored some of the biggest points of my life, you guys. And, uh, and God, God just really began to heal our marriage. And so I'm going to sing this song. I know it seems weird to do a love song, but I'm going to sing it to my wife like she's here. And uh, maybe there's some couples in the house that can relate to this. And for those of you who aren't married and want to be married, it'll happen. I've been dreaming about your face. in your embrace Just one more kiss for me would be a tragedy if you stop it It wouldn't be fair I'm crying now for one more touch But I confess it won't be enough Cause I'm fanatical when it comes to you Baby, it's true Do you really know what I'm feeling? Do you really care that you stole my heart? Without you, only love. My one and only love. Written songs throughout the years. Tell you, darling, how I feel. So let again That's why we'll never no never be just friends One look I was hypnotized Now I'm mesmerized At the thought of you Baby It's true My one and only Thanks.